What is up guys, Eric here from Real Film Reviews bringing you another movie review, this time for the new Ryan Gosling film, First Man. First Man is directed by Damien Chazelle, stars Ryan Gosling, Claire Foy, and Jason Clark. It tells the story of Neil Armstrong, the first man to ever walk on the moon. It basically showcases his life from the early 1960s until the eventual moon landing in 1969. We get to see his personal life with his family along with all of the problems that the Apollo mission faced along its way to eventually go to the moon. Now Ryan Gosling is by far the best thing about this film. His performance is very, very deep. He plays a very somber man who wants to accomplish this great thing, but is so scared of what it could cause if it happens, of all of the bad things that could happen along the way. But he also knows that this is something that has to happen, so he will continue to grind and try to accomplish this mission no matter what. And I think Gosling's performance really sold that to the highest level. He was absolutely phenomenal in every single scene as this guy who at times really doesn't know what to do or what the next step is, but he knows that he has to keep pushing. All of the space sequences and flight sequences in the film are really, really awesome. They don't use a lot of CGI in this movie. There's of course some because you have to use some, but overall a lot of it is very practical. It's very similar to a lot of the flight sequences in Interstellar where it takes place inside the ship so all you see is what's going by in the windows and I think that, that worked very well in immersing us into the idea of if we were inside this ship. There are a couple scenes that are a little dizzying. There are a couple scenes that make you feel a little uncomfortable when you're watching them fly through space, but I really, really enjoyed those scenes. Now I'm going to be honest with you, I'm a pretty big Damien Chazelle fan. I adore Whiplash. I really, really love La La Land as well. But I have to say, this movie was a little bit of a miss for me, I think. I liked it. It was a good movie, it's well made, but overall, I think it has a lot of problems, and I think a lot of those problems stem from the fact that this movie is trying to be about Neil Armstrong's life, but it can't decide which thing it wants to focus on. Because while I really like the story, I like the idea of learning about Neil Armstrong's life, seeing his personal life and the Apollo mission and how they mesh together, I think this film struggled to make them mesh. There are a lot of scenes that take place with his family in this movie that feel just kind of out of place for where we are in the Apollo mission. It seems like that's the more important thing going on at that time, but the film instead decides to focus in on his family at that time when there's nothing that important going on. I do also have to say that I did not like Claire Foy in this movie. No offense to Claire Foy, I know she's a very talented actress and it just happens sometimes, but for me this is very similar to Kate Winslet in Steve Jobs, the Michael Fassbender Steve Jobs film. I didn't like Kate Winslet in that movie, I didn't think she did a very good job, I thought her accent struggled. And that's exactly how I feel about this performance as well. Claire Foy's accent to me was very distracting, her American accent didn't really feel very lived in. I feel like it would have been a better decision to have just gone with an American actress to play this role because Claire Foy's accent continuously would break in some of the more dramatic sequences in the film, and I think that's part of the reason that I didn't enjoy the at-home sequences as much. But along with that, this film doesn't really take the time to develop any other characters. Like, it's really just Neil, and then Claire Foy gets some development as his wife, but that's it. And if you want to make a film entirely about one man, that's okay, but you have to make sure that you're putting that one man in a lot of very, very plot-heavy situations that we care about so we're very invested in his character. And I'm invested in Neil Armstrong because he's Neil Armstrong. If this movie wasn't about Neil Armstrong, I would have probably not been as invested in the story, which I think is a big struggle with the film. Even Buzz Aldrin doesn't get a lot of scenes in this movie, which is kind of crazy, because he's the second man to ever walk on the moon. He was the one that was in that ship with Neil Armstrong when they landed. And I think the lack of development in side characters 
and sort of Claire Foy's not so great performance really dragged this movie down for me. And that's not to say that there aren't good sequences with his family, specifically the scene right before he goes to space with his family is an absolutely fantastic scene. The performances in that scene are so good, but there's so many other scenes that take place at their house or with the family that are just so lackluster and they serve really little to no purpose in the story. And then my other issue is one that I might get some flack for, but I don't really care. I know that it might not be my place to say that the current holder of the Oscar for Best Director didn't do a very good job, but I don't think Damien Chazelle did a very good job in this movie. He decided, with the exception of the flight and space sequences, which are all filmed extremely well, to use a somewhat, and at other times, exceptionally wobbly handheld camera to film a lot of the rest of this film. Now, when the movie first started, I liked that because I thought that it was going to be used to feel like a home movie because it did feel like a home movie. But then as the film progressed, it just never stopped. It just kept going. And it was extremely disorienting and also very distracting from what we're seeing on screen. I really didn't like that choice and that really, really made the sequences of the film that I already thought were kind of lackluster and I didn't very much enjoy even worse because I didn't even like the way they were being filmed. I'm going to give First Man a C+. I'm a big fan of history, and while I still enjoyed a lot of this film, the problems with it, I think, arise so much around the supporting cast and the direction. I loved Ryan Gosling's performance. I loved all of the space sequences and everything surrounding that. I just think it struggled in a lot of the other avenues. And while I would definitely recommend this movie to basically everyone, because it's a film about an American hero. He's one of 12 people to ever walk on the moon, which is insanity. So I think that this is a very important movie, but I think the importance of this film for its historical elements and who it's about kind of overshadow the film itself. And I think that people, no offense, are kind of putting on blinders and saying this film is maybe better than it actually is just because it's about Neil Armstrong. Well, as always, guys, I'm Eric. If you enjoyed this video, please do like, subscribe, comment down below what you thought of First Man, share everything we do here on Real Film Reviews, and I hope to see you guys later.